my brothers and sisters. This is the eighth session of the forum on business and human rights in 2019. India has, in order to conform to the United Nations mechanism, has held up and amended 19, 29 laws, central labor laws, and compiled them into four labor codes. One is one is wage code, another social security code, interstitial relations code, fourth is health and safety code 2020. Minimum wages are assured there and there and timely payment of the wages. Codes apply to both informal as well as to private sectors. All the provisions are applicable. And they give priority to the occupational safety of the workers these reforms will continue to a better and working environment which will accelerate the pace of economic growth and ensure ease of doing business too. If we have to survive, the human mechanism of the United Nations have to be followed by all of us alike and strengthen. This is a world of, we are, in living, we are living in globalization. There is growing inequality of income and wealth has been a primary global social economic concern in the recent times and is attributed mainly to high tech intermediation <coughs> aggregation platform which is a matter of concern more than multinationals and other near monopolies. The majority of these platforms are near distributors. They do not produce any good or provide service. The monopoly disrupts a global supply chain and has suddenly left suddenly brought challenges for producers, distributors, small and medium scale operators in almost all integrated economies world over. The effects of these changes on employment, prices, incomes, including income distribution are massive and huge ramswell of GIGS and temporary workers are left behind. Predatory pricing and other anti-competitive practices are the result. We must care for diversity and security of employment and the interest of vulnerable groups and prevent hire and fire. The distributors can change the shape and location easily involved in anti-labor practices and DOS taxes, such as gross violation of human rights. In India, government and public sector procurement have 25% reservation for micro and small establishment 3% of annual procurement is reserved for women, 4% is reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. The pandemic has shifted the focus on mitigating employees' problems, rights of the migrant and informal workers and their mental health. For this commission has issued a series of advisories. The government has implemented an advisory issued on bonded labor and the commission supervises bonded labor system as per the direction of the Supreme Court. Labor working in a stone quarry suffers with silicosis. Commission has successfully asked various state government to frame the policy framework to provide compensation, pension, and other social security benefits, and they are being provided even by the with the interference of the commission where they are not provided by the machinery. The concept of development is sustainable one and is that of intergenerational equity which is required to be ensured. Over exploitation of minerals and other non revenable natural resources result in equities and causing exhaustion of the resources of future generations. We therefore need to promote mandatory internalization of full cost of exploited materials and other non renewable natural resources. Mineral extraction in fragile ecosystems like Antarctica may have disastrous ecological consequences, the impacts of such activities need to be assessed less we cause irreversible damage to the global warming. In India, the human rights of marginalized are protected under Land Acquisition Act of 2013, assessing the impact of acquisition of, on eco-sensitive zones, biodiversity, social effect is mandatory, resettlement is necessary, and then consent of 80% in the case of private projects and 70% in the case of public private partnership and twice the market value of the land in the case of urban acquisition and four times in the rural area is required to be given 
that is the responsibility cast upon the business the world faces challenges of industrial pollution degradation of environment of and that of global warming developed com- countries are emitting more carbon they must con- compensate other countries who are suffering with the same a substantial part of hazardous, hazardous waste is generated by the business and in the in the several developed countries and is, is transported to under developed and developing countries for disposal we have to think over for cooperation in the this field so as to prevent the environmental degradation and consequent violation of human rights the same needs to be checked in india remedial action for pollution control is speedily taken by judicial non judicial remedy as well as by the commission we also direct in several cases environmental protection pollution control boards are there at the central and the state level and polluter spray principle has been developed by the supreme court in the case of kamal nath the closure of industries is up, is ordered until as they comply with the requisite norms it is unfortunate to note that gas disaster in bhopal took place in 1984 the debris of in which more than 3000 lives were lost but debris of waste has not been removed by the business type on till today from bhopal and is that toxic waste is lying there and uh, that is abuse of the right of the health of survivors resident of the area and contaminates the ground water and soil transport is a significant sector of business world over that to ensure the human rights of the commercial truck drivers this year the commission in furtherance of the united nation principles has issued an, an advisory providing for insurance cover of 15 lakhs halting places health check up working time regulation adequate remuneration proper food hygiene health resorting to online mechanism every invention is for common good our greening of patents to block the flow of benefits of site scientific discovery and innovation to the public must be effectively checked intellectual property right of the patent holder should give the way to the right to life life saving drugs medicines and vaccines are to be made affordable to the poorest of the poor we still see the patents of the vaccines for covid-19 at the cost of colossal loss of human life and economy world over during covid-19 medical tourism in india is cost effective cyber space has invest, invaded human rights including individual pri- individual privacy resulting in civil and human rights infringement due to advent of e-commerce cross border transactions occur cases of e fraud in e-commerce hacking of data data bank frauds and demand for ransom in cryptocurrency multiply the difficulty of identifying tracking offender the criminal commerce results in grave human viol- rights violation inter se cooperation the countries and human rights mechanism world over is necessary to prevent and remedy cyber, cyber, such crimes human trafficking is prevalent in the entire world 96% of the dark web of cyber space has emerged as the most potent and human and sex trafficking medium trafficking of women and children tribal vulnerable section must stop poverty is required to be eradicated for that along with social and economic factors to be improved in the at the ground level to in today era of the global global market the deprivation the last section of the to of the global community of the fruits of globalization and their financial exploitation by few large multinational corporation is a serious concern product of particular brands are earning unrealistic returns disproportionate to the invest, investment and worth of the product a strict scrutiny is called for in the apparel industry we must protect the rights of the farmers agriculture sector poultry business small scale in, and medium scale industries in all the countries in india special courts deal with the commercial environmental litigation in fast track mode commission also issues direction in such cases in india competition laws and judicial and non judicial regulatory framework are in place that un- there very un- unfair tra- trade practices and policies they, they are to be, t- t- to be taken care of policies that encourage competition and between the sub- providers of service and goods can be beneficial in advance of human rights more widely in via section 135 of the companies act ensures corporate social requests responsibility it provides 
that 2% of the net profit every year is required to be spent for, by the business houses for poverty, hunger, sanitation, employment, homes for orphans, senior citizens, ecological balance, flora and fauna, animal welfare, agroforestry, libraries, handicrafts, rural development, slum development, disaster management. During COVID-19, this fund was used to establish the oxygen plant on a war footing throughout the country. The welfare state responsibility to an employee is from, from cradle to grave. In winding up the charge of the wages of the worker should be the first charge. In, when corporate governance must care for a person serving in his days of life and must he must not be left destitute in his old days. Child protection, prohibition and child rights are governed by the appropriate legislation in India. By making trade in natural products, the customary rights of indigenous people are required to be respected. The Protection of Plants and Varieties and Farmers Park Rights Act 2001 is in place. We have to prevent patenting of natural products. The quality of food products impacts human rights. Substandard products cause more harm than good. Overuse of fertilizer, chemicals, and impermissible pesticides in farming affects land fertility and as adversely affects vegetables, grains, and other edible materials which can cause even cancer. An effective mechanism is required to prevent and minimize the same world over. India is facing terrorism. There are mass production of the weapons and weapons of uh, mass destruction. Drug paddling is destroying the truth and the youth. Joint efforts are required by the human rights organizations world over to punish cross-border mafia and break the supply chain. Industries with the potential to cause injury should be operated with appropriate equipment, safety equipment for plugging the gap in law if any is necessary should be done. We have issued advisory, commission has issued advisory in the case in the field of hazardous workers and for preventing ocular trauma, which causes loss of ocular, uh, loss of vision recently in 21 and 2022, few days before in 2022. In, in universal Project review is another very good instance of protection of human rights uh, mechanism. We heard the civil society organization, HRD and other stakeholders and had regional consultations with them and our national, we have also held the government of India for preparation of a national action plan and that is by now virtually ready and would, would hopefully would be mm -hmm. out soon. The commission is performing duty, is committed in performance of duty, is committed to the motto Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, which means every individual should be happy, efficient and self-dependent. We have to realize the old days concept of Indian philosophy and of the United Nations, that is Vasudev Kutambagam, world is one family. Thank you. <coughs> I thank the organizer for giving me a question.